why is it important for res life departments to really validate, celebrate, and to practice diversity? You know, I've, I have watched and learned so much during my career. Um, and, you know, understanding that people have unique cultural experiences mm -hmm. and recognizing that that's valuable. Um, recognizing that, you know, we're building community at a very personal level in the residence halls. Having people around that you share certain things mm. with becomes incredibly important. Mm. Um, when, I, w when I sit with uh, a group of colleagues and their entire staff represents one mm. ethnicity, that's not productive. Mm. Um, they've got a lot of work to do to overcome that. And see, uh, being inclusive in the staff that you build and bringing that breadth mm. makes your department a stronger department. Mm. It makes your division a stronger division and it makes the university a more welcoming mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the reality. Uh, the demographic is changing yeah. and you better be prepared. Mm. Uh, again, you're either on the way with this or you're in the way. Mm. And uh, having the right staff that can provide support, that can reach out to uh, different groups and, and, and make their experience successful, that's what we're here for. Real world, it mm. happens every day. Um, Quite often those students that we talk about whose needs haven't changed, they've gone through life with blinders on. Mm. And I believe it's part of our responsibility to widen those blinders or take the blinders down. Um, at RIT, we have a piece of diversity that's rare. Uh, approximately 11% of our student population is either deaf or hard of, or mm. hard of hearing. And promoting training with our hearing staff at RIT to accept deaf culture has been an eye-opener for mm. me. Um, learning American Sign Language is the most difficult thing mm -hmm. I've ever done in my life, but it's provided me with an opportunity to be totally appreciative of some of the issues others go through. And that's just a snapshot, but it's got to be the same. Um, it's breaking down the barriers that are, that are existing, but it's real world. Diversity is important for the halls, because it's important for as a way of life. Mm -hmm. This is just a small part, a stepping stone towards life. And diversity is important to people get a chance to interact with each other. The thing that would change people the most attitude towards race, if they've had interpersonal uh, interaction with other people. There's a professor at Ohio State did a study about the impact of having people of different races living together, how that impact their views on racial views throughout the rest of their lives. The housing department should depict the, the diversity of the institution mm. and should embrace the diversity of the institution. So we need to be aware that we need to be comfortable for all students at the institution if we want to succeed as a, as a housing organization um, and help the institution in the end. So we've got to be representative of our constituencies. Our country, the United States, mm -hmm. is becoming a much more diverse mm -hmm. um, place. Mm -hmm. I think my grandchildren, my three grandchildren, um, they're white. They're going to grow up in a very different United States than I grew mm -hmm. up in, where most of the people I grew up with were white. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to they're going to grow up with people who are black and brown mm -hmm. and, and from Asia and so I think I think that it's important for our residents to see their face to see role models diverse role models and it isn't just about race or ethnicity I think it's about disability absolutely I think it's about gender mm -hmm. um, I think it's about um, a wide variety of uh, I'm left-handed too, so you know, left-handed. We should have more left-handed people. <laughs> but um, all kidding aside, I, I just think that it's important that our residents can see folks like themselves mm -hmm. in leadership roles. I um, it's huge. We live in a diverse world, and um, for us to be able to um, 
make this world a better place, we need to be able to uh, understand and communicate and collaborate and get along with um, people who are different than ourselves. And, um, and in addition to that, we need to understand the similarities. Mm. That, um, so um, the idea that uh, we're only comfortable or we can only operate with people who we perceive to be like us mm. um, is so narrowing and it, it's just hugely important, I think, to help staff and students understand that they need to get over their stuff, their fear, their uh, apprehension about um, engaging with people who have um, different backgrounds, different experiences, different values, um, whatever, and that they can learn so much as a result of that and become a much um, fuller human being. Mm -hmm. I hear too much conversation about people valuing diversity. Mm. We have to practice it. Mm. We have to live it. We have to believe it. We have to do our own work. And I think too many staff members latch on to, I value, diversity is important, I value diversity. And don't understand what it is. You know, we don't, oftentimes, I mean, I have spent 40 years working at predominantly white institutions. Mm. Um, I would say 90 plus percent of the res life student affairs staff that are Euro-Americans have not looked at their own sense of privilege and what does it mean and how they benefit from having privilege, how they support privilege, and how they um, are partners in it. And if you get to look at Joe, I, you know, it's funny, I'm both African-American, uh, I am gay, and I'm constantly evaluating where I am mm. on this planet. And I, in the residential community, this is oftentimes the first experience that the majority of our students have had mm. living with people who are really different than they. Mm -hmm. 